You've watched the films, you've loved the performances, but have you seen the looks? I'm Aisha Kanga, and this is Closet Companion. Let's deep dive into some of the best fashion moments of the Oscars. Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie is wearing Versace. Um, she's basically been seen in pink for most of her Barbie presto, so it's interesting to see her in black this time. And Hathaway did a similar Versace moment, and I think that moment was probably better put together. Again, this was not one of my favorite looks of the night. Killian Murphy is my favorite Oscar winner of the night. He is in a custom atelier Versace suit and an Oppenheimer inspired brooch. The brooch is by Hong Kong based design house Sovereign and it has eight trapeziums that apparently reference the film. I love it when people come dressed as their movie subtly and it just goes to show that you don't need to have an Instagram account to make a billion dollar movie. Emma Stone just won the Oscar for Best Actress in a Leading Role for Four Things and I am so glad that she did. Very, very well earned. She wore a Louis Vuitton aquamarine peplum skirt suit and I know that peplums are having a comeback but I'm not sure that this is the way that they should come back. It was probably one of my least favorite looks of the night. I think maybe a peplum like Florence or Lupita looked a lot more flattering than this one. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling's stylist custom Gucci look was super lukewarm, unlike his performance in Barbie. Though I felt like Ryan could wear absolutely nothing and still get away with it, his stylist should not take that for granted though. Zendaya. I love the dress, I love the dark silver beading, and I love her and Law Roach, but I don't really think that this was the right dress for the evening. Probably one of my least favorite looks tonight. Carrie Mulligan. Carrie Mulligan is probably wearing one of my favorite outfits of the night. She had a nomination for Best Actress in Maestro and wore a grand opera-ready recreation of a classic Balenciaga mermaid dress from 1951. The original look is currently at the Kyoto Costume Institute and it had to be recreated solely through studying Cristobal's original sketches. The sweetheart neckline and flared out mermaid tulle drape makes it look iconic. Obviously, she's worn it with long black gloves and classic diamond stud earrings and I think this is one of the best Balenciaga moments on the red carpet. It was so well put together and I think this was my favorite look of the night. Emily Blunt. This year, Emily Blunt wore a sparkling Scaparelli gown with a structural shoulder and Tiffany & Co jewels. I think the look was very put together and she looked very, very cool. Florence Pugh. Florence Pugh's look is a silver metallic jewel dress from the Delco SS24 ready-to-wear collection paired with Bulgari jewelry. The silver look is supposed to be reminiscent of a freshly watered orchid and it reflects camera flashes at every angle. I love this look and this is my idea of a modern peplum done right. Lily Gladstone. Lily Gladstone made history with her Best Actress nomination for Killers of the Flower Moon. Lily wore a custom Gucci midnight blue velvet gown in collaboration with indigenous artist Joe Big Mountain and I love how it celebrates indigenous designers and art. It was very, very beautiful. Celine Song. Celine Song was nominated for two categories this year at the Oscars and she pretty much ate in Loewe. It's beautiful, it's androgynous, it's what women's red carpets need to look like more often. Stunning. Takashi Yamazaki. Takashi Yamazaki had a golden Godzilla moment. The entire Godzilla Minus One team walked on the red carpet and shoes adorned with these tiny Godzilla sculptures grabbing the heel. And they all even carried their figurines of the fictional monster while receiving the award. I love that commitment. It was adorable. It was a great moment. People need to do it a lot more. Lupita Nyong'o. Lupita Nyong'o is wearing a custom Armani Privé gown and she looks stunning. This is exactly the take on a modern peplum that works. She has mentioned that this gown was an ode to her Prada blue gown where she wore during her 2014 Oscar winning night for 12 years a slave. I kind of love that peplums are making a comeback, but in a more abstract and non-obvious way. This really works. Rita Moreno. Rita Moreno, at 92 years old, is serving major drama with a 3D black Badgley Mishka hourglass ruffle gown and a major hair change paired with opera gloves. This look could easily go down as one of the best looks in Oscar history. We're gonna remember this look. It's one for the books. These are my favorite outfits of the night. Carrie Mulligan, Rita Moreno, Florence Pugh, and a noteworthy mention would be Celine Song.